everybody, we are back with another review, and today uh, we're going to be doing a little bit of a different type of video. Today we're doing another installment of Survival Saturdays, but this one's going to be a little different. We got a $100 box of knives from Smoky Mountain Knife Company, so without further ado, let's hop right into this review and let's check out what we got for 100 bucks from Smoky Mountain Knife Company. Let's see what we got. All right. Let's see exactly what we got in the box for hundred bucks. Let's see how many knives we got. And then see what kind of knives we got. All right, I'm gonna pull this invoice off. That is an invoice, yep, that is an invoice. All right. All right, I'm gonna leave this off to the side and I'm just gonna reach in and start grabbing stuff and we'll check out what we got. First thing we got is, nice, marbles. Let's check out which one we ordered. Oh, nice, all right. Very cool. Check this out. So this is a, uh, it is a leather sheath. It is leather. It is actual leather. It's a little bit on the, the cheaper variety for leathers, but it is leather, which is nice. It's stiff too. It's real nice. The way it's stitched. Like I said, a whole box of knives for a hundred bucks. Not too bad. This one's got a nice little protector on it. I'll hold the blade. Oh, slide that out. Very cool. Pretty dang sharp too. Pretty dang sharp. So that is nice. At least it's sharp out of the out of the box. It's got a nice wood handle here. Some brass trimmings. It's got a screw on end cap. Pretty cool. Not too bad for a fixed blade. Let's slide this guy away. Too bad for a fixed blade. We got a little bit of a mix today. Oh, he doesn't actually quite fit all the way in there. There we go. He doesn't actually quite fit all the way in there. Let's see if it snaps shut. All right, snap shut. Pretty nice. We'll put that right over here to the side. Let's pull something else out. What else we got in here? We have this laying on top. Oh, nice. All right, cool. So as you see, I opened up the box with a Mora knife. And we got a special edition one that they dropped. This one is a carbon steel blade which is nice. It does have some nicks on it. Interesting. That's from the factory. I don't think that's going to defect the blade at all, but uh, there is some nicks on it, which I'm assuming, yeah, must come from the factory that way. doesn't look like this was messed with or anything. It is a very nice knife, though, and the coloration of it is very cool, too. So we'll put that right there, and we'll kind of go through a little bit of a review of everything we got. All right, let's pull some more knives out. We got quite a few in there. All right, here's the master. Let's see what we got from Master USA. Let's slide that over there. Oh, okay. Nice, all right. This was, it's, it was like maybe two and a half, three weeks ago when I actually bought all these. So it's uh, it's been a little bit, let's just say that. So that is a, Flip up razor knife, which is actually pretty cool. No locking blade, it just flips up, flips out. It doesn't stop at any point, so there's no barrier back there to stop this from keep moving. So it's something you just have to keep a nice grip on, if you would. But uh, yeah, I bet this will, you can sharpen this up, this will probably shave your face too, real nice. So that's pretty cool, so a nice straight razor knife. Like I said, a large variety of stuff we got in here. And I'm gonna keep, let's pull out, Pull out one of these little ones. What do we got here? Oh, yeah. Okay, so I bought two, I think two knives. They're like the world's smallest knives. This might be, yep, this is one of them. World's smallest functional knife. Check this out. <clears throat> Pretty crazy. It's a little like, uh, I guess it's gold plated or just basically painted. It's, it's more so for novelty, but it is functional because it has a blade which is, it has an edge. <laughs> we'll say that. But it's a little, uh, it's a little like keychain knife. Let me grab, I think there was another one that was that size. Let me grab that one. We'll check them both out at the same time. And these are both from Rough Rider. Yep, this one was the steel version. Check this out. Oops. Static cling. All right, whatever. Here it is. This one, which is a little bit different. 
Oh, that one's actually got a, that's got an actual decent edge on it. But look at that, freaking mini pocket knife. This is like a pocket knife scaled down to an action figure, basically. Um, pretty cool. Got a little brass one, got a little stainless steel one. Pretty cool. All right, speaking of Rough Rider, let's grab this one right here. Let's grab the last, let's grab the last Rough Rider out of here. All right. Now this one had two blades. Let me fold this one out. There's the one blade and there's the two blade. A nice little mini Rough Rider there. A little cutter. I like it. It's got a nice bone handle. Pretty neat. Good little keychain knife. Got a hundred bucks. Got all this stuff. And I got tons more to pull out of the box. Let's see. We got... Let's grab... Let's grab this one. This one's called the Field Dog Peanut. The Field Dog Peanut. I'll check this guy out. Hey, another bone handle. Very cool. This one's got a little golden retriever on the side in brass. So a little bit like that other Rough Rider, only uh, this one is... Uh, got scissors. Where's the scissors? Let's pull this out. Where's the scissors? There we go. Tested 56 to 58 Rockwell. Nice. Oops, we can get them out. So this one has a nice blade and it has some utility scissors, which is nice. And nice as they put that on there, but now I gotta clean that with some alcohol. Yeah, we'll clean that with some. Ugh. Yeah. Sticker, sticker giblets all over me we'll scrape that off and we'll wipe this down with some alcohol it's got some funk on it too inside of the scissor here this one is a neat little knife like i said it's got scissors on it and it's also got your blade so this is by steel warrior steel warrior now there should be two of those in there i'm not sure where the other one is here's another knife we got a imperial all right <clears throat> Let's see what we got in this one. Nice. So we got a white bone handle. Very cool. This one is another one of those like bifold blades, if you would. We got the blade from Schrade. Then we have a nice flat cut blade. And then we have a nice little slicer. So multiple blades. You could do one for like one for protection. This one is for opening packages. Maybe this one's for skinning your apple during lunchtime but you got three different blades on it and um, they all could serve their own purpose and this one is an imperial from Schrade, which is pretty cool i said all the knives we got were actually really nice uh companies that uh, at least we've heard of most of them you know what i'm saying all right oh we got the other field dog peanut let's open that one grab right off the top field dog peanut Check this one out. This one's a little bit of a different color. And it's the same. It's got the blade with the scissors. It's got one of those tested Rockwell. Pretty cool. We'll put that by the other the other one right there. Kind of let them hang out together. All right, let's grab another box. All right, we got a Rough Rider. Let's see what we got. Okay. We got a... What is this? Did I buy this? I don't think I bought this. I don't know what this is. This is a tactical pen or just a regular pen? Looks like it's just a regular pen. I don't see anything tactical about it. Oh, shnikes. I didn't order it, but I'll take it. It's a pen knife. What? What? That is freaking cool. All right, it's a freaking pen knife. And, the, and it actually rolls away. I'll take it. We're not gonna include this in the box because I definitely didn't order that, but we'll take it. Maybe they just threw it in there because I bought a bunch of stuff off it. All right, here we go. Old Forge. Check this one out. So far, knives are actually pretty decent, the ones I've been pulling out. I haven't seen anything that's um, bad quality. The only one that I'm kind of like, eh, is this, uh, straight one where it just kind of, 
it just folds. And it just seems like the only thing holding this is wood right here together. I mean, you really got to get a grip on this one. This one's probably the one that I'm like maybe the most leery about, if you would. All right, this one's got a nice handle too. This is some kind of acrylic, some kind of acrylic plastic. Uh, we got like a Damascus look back here. And same thing with the blade. Nice. That is a real nice lock. It locks right in there, which is pretty cool. Very cool, actually. Blade's pretty neat, though. I like the blade. The blade definitely has a nice look to it with that hammered look. And it is sharp. Very sharp. Very sharp. And it does have a nice... Like I said, it has an... It, it does, it's not going to be like assisted or anything like that. You're really going to have to bend this out. But at least it locks, right? It has a locking mechanism without having a release latch. So you can't really do too much crazy stuff with this. Or else it'll fold in on you. But Alright, what else have we got? Ooh, nice. Some caltrops. Nice. Let's pull these out. These are deep. These are neat. Nice. So this is a 10 piece. This is some Home Alone type stuff. Um, like you put these under the window sills, right? <laughs> so the burglars step on them. But that's basically what this is. These are uh, more so left for, they're for defense. Like, um, you know, like I basically just said, if you're if you're home defense and you want to put these on underneath a window or something to make sure somebody, if they come in the night or something like that, they step on them. Hopefully you don't step on them. Um, these are pretty neat, though. I think these were a couple bucks. So I was like, yeah, let's add those to the order. Those are neat. We'll check those out. So there we go. We'll put those over there. Ten pack of college drops. There we go. All right, let's pull another knife out here. Let's see what we got. This one was just a white box. Oh, nice. So another swing out non-locking blade, which is nice. But a nice long blade nonetheless. Look at that. A nice little skinny right there. I like the color of the blade. It's a nice, a nice stainless steel cover. There's nothing crazy to it. It just has a nice classy look to it, especially when you got the handle here where it's all done up with the engraving. You got this nice gray wood. A nice little zigzag pattern back there. Very cool. Like I said, this one is much like the the other one from what was that Forge? Old Forge. I like this one. This is a real nice knife. This is a real nice knife. I really like this one. This would be a real good food knife. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like a dedicated food knife. If you had this on you or something like that, you could use this for eating a multitude of things, different types of food, that's for sure. All right, let's grab, uh, what do we got here? Another marble. This one's a straight razor. So let's we'll see if we can get this loosened up here. Pretty cool. hundred bucks. We're still going. We still got a lot more stuff out of there to pull out. So this is like, wow, just a straight up straight razor. Like no sheath, no nothing. And a dirty ass blade. Look at that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wipe that down. But it's got a nice bone handle. Not full tang, but again, it's straight razor. So this could probably be actually used as a razor. Um, I don't know what else you'd use this for. Maybe opening boxes, but it has no sheath. So... You really can't carry it around with you unless you bought a sheath, but I don't even know if you could get one for something this size with such a long handle. You know what I mean? The handle's you know, almost twice the length of the blade. So, all right, let's see what we got in here. We got this largemouth bass. That's right, I do remember grabbing this. This was, uh, I grabbed this for the nail clippers for my fishing vest. So I can clip these on my vest fishing but it is a nice little pocket knife too and a bottle opener so you can get some beverages out on the water then you have the largemouth bass which i don't know if you remember these from when you were a kid they used to have all these kind of nail trimmers they were kind of like shot glasses the novelty of them they have um all kinds of stuff you can get like uh you know welcome to fabulous las vegas or welcome to new york or whatever and they would have these on these nail nail trimmers and they kind of did that with the fishing aesthetic but these are perfect to have on you <clears throat> especially if you're out in the water and you don't want to go back to land or anything like that if you want to do a lure swap or anything look at that nice little honing you can hone your uh your hooks there that's pretty cool that's pretty cool like i said 
This is great for clipping line. This is great for doing changes out in the water. Uh, they have li these little loops on them, which again, they're not getting heavy work, so it doesn't matter. This is going to do everything you need to do. And if you don't trust this, just put a regular uh, key ring loop on it and then just attach it to your vest, which is nice. Or me personally, I have one of those um, retractable lines where you can just kind of pull this out. So I might actually add a key ring to it, which is why I even said that. Um, because this isn't going to be able to take the tug in and back and forth. So I'll put a key ring on it, attach it to one of those retractable lines, and then I have a nice way to be able to work down here instead of having to be working close to my body or anything like that. So these are actually uh, pretty useful, especially for fishermen. All right, looks like we got three more knives. Again, we got a lot of stuff for 100 bucks. I mean, we'll show you everything we got again. We'll do a quick little review. We got none of these Imperials. And kind of go through everything we got for 100 bucks. And again, the pen was not something I ordered, but nice to have it. All right, here we got a Barlow. This one was neat. I saw this one online. I thought this was a nice looking knife. And we'll see. Again, another Imperial. Definitely is extremely stiff. We got two blades here. I guess you got yourself, you have a food blade. If you want something that you can, you know, break down an apple, break down a pear, break down an orange. You can use that. And then you got this uh, this blade you could use for defense, which is nice. It's got a lot of oil all over it, the blade. But it's not like oil like you would oil a blade with. It's like grease almost, like mechanical grease to almost like lubricate what's going on in there. So these a lot of these blades definitely do need to get cleaned up, which is, I mean, this is like my daily use blade for unboxing boxes for the channel. And I never clean this blade. And this is like almost cleaner than some of these like... That marbles one's pretty bad. Almost, my blade's almost cleaner. Besides the goo and stuff, my blade's almost cleaner than that that marbles razor. So there's that Barlow. I'd have to say probably the uh, the marbles razor is probably the one I'm maybe elite, most disappointed with in regards to like quality and cleanliness. The Barlow's almost taken that now. But for the most part, this is a great selection of knives. Definitely no complaints here. Definitely think the selection is great. Again, this isn't something from them where. Um, you know, the grease on the Barlow or something like that. It's just the knife manufacturer. It's not a high-end knife. Again, we got a $100 worth of knives today here to show you. I mean, if it was a good knife, it would be $100 for one knife, right? Um, here we go. Next we got is a nice little utility knife, which we scooped up. Check that out. A nice little serrated utility knife. Now, I used to have these all the time when I used to go saltwater fishing. It's great for cutting up bait. Um, but it's also nice to have this on the campsite, a nice little serrated knife that's dedicated to camping um, or for your, your cook site. It's a nice one to have. Um, and especially it's got easy clean. It's got a nice little plastic handle and it's lightweight. So a nice little utility knife. We're going to slide that one back in the sheath since that one actually came with one, even though the uh, that razor over there did not. All right, we got one more knife in the box. Yep, one more knife in the box. And... Two more knives in the box. All right, we'll do this one first then. All right. Two more knives in the box. Ooh. Ooh. It's got a spring assist. It just, it just takes it out on its own. That's nice. To that point. Nice. All right. I dig it. 440C steel. Nice, okay. So probably one of the nicest knives that we have unboxed today. That and maybe the uh, the Flixblade Marbles. G and W. Huh. All right, pretty cool. Don't remember ordering this one, but this is a nice knife. That is a nice knife. So two things I don't remember ordering. I know I didn't order the pen, but maybe I did. I don't think I did. I guess this will replace your cartridge. Yeah, you can replace your cartridge on this end. And then this side has that knife, which you can definitely stab someone in the neck with this. I mean, I guess you could just stab someone in the neck with the pen entirely. I mean, you've seen Dexter. So, hmm. These two I'm unsure of, but really, this is a nice knife compared to the, uh, I mean, I guess the quality of some of the other ones. These are all mainly non-spring-assisted stuff, more so classic folders. But yeah, that little zoop, it just zips right out on you. And this, I'm not too sure. 
that locks it from opening up in your pocket. Which, man, I don't know. I don't know how long I would trust this little plastic slider from blocking this from opening up in your pocket. Because, again, it's spring-assisted, so you don't want that to just open up in your pocket when you're sitting down or something. So put that little lock up. <clears throat> All right, cool. Let's open up the last knife we got in the box. Got a lot of knives for 100 bucks. Put that back in the sheath. We're done with that. And this one is a fixed blade, which is cool. Nice sheath, too. Genuine leather. Very cool. <clears throat> All right. Oh, this one's already starting to rust. That sucks. That one's already starting to rust. All right, well, this is a very... Uh, I'm not going to take this out because I don't want to be getting this rust all over the other knives or anything, or any of this oil. But I'm going to have to take this out, and we're going to... This might this might have not just gotten oil on the end, or the oil maybe rubbed off onto the packaging, and this was able to get rusted. But we're going to... We'll get this... I'll hit this with a wire brush, and then we'll re-oil this handle here, right here at the bottom. Um, but this is a railroad spike that got turned into a knife. So that's pretty cool. I dig that. And that's going to sit in the sheath right here. So I thought that would have been a cool knife. But I'm going to have to clean this one up um, before I could actually, before I'm going to handle it. So um, pretty, pretty nice haul here today. So let's do this. Let's go through what we ended up getting. And then, um, yeah, I guess we'll basically go from there in regards to uh, you telling me what you guys like down in the comments below. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's start off here. We'll start off with the first one we got, which was this Marbles fixed blade knife, which was actually really nice. Got a nice little curve. It's like a Skinner knife. Pretty cool. Comes in a nice leather sheath. Next, we got the Mora special edition carbon steel blade. Awesome knife. Then we grabbed this fixed blade. Or I should say not fixed blade. A flip out razor blade, which is kind of a little sketch, but Neat nonetheless, very, it's nice for a decade. It has a nice, very nice appealing visual, but I don't know how much I'd actually use this one particularly. I'd probably use this one over this one. If this one had a sheath, that one didn't come with a sheath too. It was a little weird. Anyway, we got this Schrade Imperial, which is a trifold, which is nice. It's a cool little knife. We'll go with the utility knife, the serrated utility knife, which is going to be a real nice, like a mess sink or a campsite knife. We have these little Rough Rider Smallest functional pocket knives in the world, folding knives. We got a brass one and a stainless steel one. Then we got one of these really tiny Rough Rider little nipper knives. Then we had some of these Field Dog ones. These were called Field Dog Peanuts. And we got an orange one and a tan one. And that one has scissors and a knife, which is kind of cool. And we got this Barlow, which was kind of oily, but I think once it gets cleaned up, it'll be it'll be all right. I mean, it's just a folding knife, nothing too crazy. Then we have the Marbles Fixed Blade Razor Blade, which uh, I'm going to wipe this down with some oil as well. Get all those marks off there. Then we had one of the ones that I really liked out of the package, which this one right here, the, uh, the Canon. I like this one a lot. This one was nice. Even though it is made in China, it is nice. It has a nice locking mechanism at the end here which is nice. It stops the blade. Again, you can't do too much with this, these types of knives that don't actually lock the blade in place, but it definitely stops it so you have some pushing power on the back end. But this is a great knife for, again, I keep it. I would keep it as a dedicated food knife. I wouldn't use it for any type of utility purposes, especially this one as well, just because of the fact that it doesn't, uh, it doesn't actually, this one kind of locks it in, but um, any, any, any pressure on the back part of that or any pressure backwards, you don't want the knife blade folding in on your hand. So, um, that would suck for your knuckles. Anyway, uh, these two are pretty nice though. I definitely dig it. This one's got like an acrylic plastic handle. Then we, uh, unbox some of these little tacks, these call traps. They're pretty cool. Those are neat. Uh, we got the largemouth bass stylized clippers for line. Comes with a bottle opener and a knife blade. Then we got this G and W, which is a spring. Oop, we got that locked. A spring assisted folder with a nice little clip there. So we'll lock that in place. Then we got this, which I do not remember ordering, but it's in the box. It is a Rough Rider pen knife, which is cool. Nice and sharp. 
can definitely do some damage with that. And lastly, we got the Railroad Spike, which came a little rusted, but I think once this gets cleaned up, this will be pretty cool. Obviously, it's solid. Um, I like this design on these. And um, like I said, I was able to get three really nice fixed blade knives right here, plus all these folders. Um, I mean, I got a utility knife as well, which is another fixed blade. Um, I mean, this, this razor is nice. It would be great if that one came with a little slider sheath, even if it was something like this. You know what I mean? Where it's just something where, you know, the blade could just slide in, slide in, and just not get, not get your skin cut for no reason. Unless you have a knife roll, but I mean, who's going to put this little tiny knife in a knife roll from marbles? You know what I mean? Anyway, 100 bucks. Not too bad. Got a lot of value. Got a lot of knives out of it. I think personally, okay, let's see if we can get everything in frame here that we got in the box with the little Rough Riders over there. Field Dog, put that blade there, put that right there. Let's see, can we get everything in frame? So this is, now again, I don't remember ordering the pen knife, so we'll keep the pen knife out, but this was everything that I paid a hundred bucks for. So we got all these knives for a hundred bucks. Not too bad. Not too bad. Um, why don't you let me know down in the comments below what you think of the selection of knives. Um, what do you think of Smoky Mountain Knife Works? Let me know down in the uh, comments below. And yeah, I mean, I dig it. I think it was a great value. A lot of great knives. A lot of knives to play around with. A lot of knives to use. Um, instead of using my actual expensive knives, I can use some of these to mess around with. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited and uh, definitely stoked and happy with the purchase. But you let me know down in the comments below your opinion. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Want more content like this, subscribe for more because I do reviews every single day. So look out for that. Have a great rest of your day.